are again, folks. I hope you can hear me all right over the noise of the bumbling, rumbling diesel up front. We find ourselves on an adventure to make irresponsible adult decisions, or I should say irresponsible financial decisions. If you're watching this video right now, it means I'm the proud new owner of a 1984 Chevrolet Corvette, a car that I have been wanting for a long time. I find myself with a little bit too much of the quiet garage fever with the S10 being down and so I've decided to purchase it a new friend. I couldn't tell you exactly where my fascination for 80s vehicles comes from. Maybe it's the retroness, maybe it's the most sick nasty dashes ever installed in any vehicle. But nevertheless, we find ourselves driving through the wilderness of central-ish Ohio to go purchase some more 80s muscle. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I have an 83 S10 that has one or two horsepowers. Well, it did before it fell apart. But it's really only good at going in a straight line. And so I figured, why not get something that can go around a corner? Maybe sideways, maybe not sideways. I suppose we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, I'll just shut up and uh, we're about 20 minutes away, and I'll introduce you when we get there. Well, we got her. She's back there. You probably can't see because thanks to Ohio climate, it's pitch black at five o'clock, but that's all right. We'll be home shortly, get her unloaded, and I'll give you a peek. Look at the miles on this bad boy. It's like she just rolled off the showroom floor. All right, time for the big reveal. Oh boy. Wait, hold on. There she is, all nice and shiny. It's amazing what a little uh, LED lights will do to make a vehicle look a little better. I apologize for the mess we got all over the place. I'm currently tearing the S10 engine apart over there. If I had to describe her in one word, I would say ratty. If you want any good reason why, you can just take a look here at this enormous subwoofer in the back and you'll figure out pretty quick. But other than that, she's actually pretty solid. Underneath, there's not a whole lot of rust. If you're unfamiliar with these 80s Corvettes, there's actually not a whole lot of metal on them. There's something that they call the bird cage, and that's the frame, and it includes the pillars and, uh, and uh, all that good stuff. Of course, we've got the pop up and down headlights, um, donuts favorite kind. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with it yet. I know I'll be fixing it up a little bit, cleaning up some of these flakes that need repainted and such, making her all purdy back to her 80s retro self. Other than that, let me know what you guys think I should do with it. So, a quick word before I go. The previous owner said that it, it wasn't running very good and that it was probably all junk and... And that's why I got it so cheap. Main issue was that they had just changed the fuel pump, thinking that it had fuel pump issues, but that didn't fix it. So they thought it must be internal. Well, I discovered after removing the fuel lines, since there's some large changes coming soon, discovered that the uh, end of the fuel filter was not hooked up over here. Fuel line was completely loose. And every time they try to prime it, it would just uh, leak on the ground. So there you go. Next time, uh, check your uh, fuel lines before you throw away a probably perfectly good engine, but yeah, it's probably going to the junkyard anyway. Unless somebody wants a 1984 Crossfire injection piece of junk, then somebody can have it. Yeah, thanks anyway. I'll uh, see you in the next one.